All right, welcome back to another video. It is December 27 today, time is flying by. So, topic of this video, we're gonna be talking about a Rizzler V975. Four years ago, today, this mixer showed up to the dairy farm, brand new, zero hours. Put pictures on the screen of what it looked like right now. So, as you can see, nice, shiny. Well, this thing wasn't meant to stay that way, let's be honest. So, time's flown by. You know, I'll grab my cheat sheet here with all the numbers. So, in four years, we've put 2,356 hours on this thing. Um, we started off when we got it, we mixed four loads a day with it. Our last one was a Rizzler as well, we love these mixers. The V960, 15 cubic feet smaller, or around there. No, I've mentioned it before, V975, but we have extensions on it, so it's around 93 cubic feet. So this is our mixer. Mixes all the feed for our dairy cows. Absolutely love this thing. Um, we've had it for, well, I could figure it out, but. 365 days times four, that's the one thing I didn't put on there. How many days we actually had it for. So, but anyway, that's gotta work out to probably 1500 days around there, this thing. And all the feedings we've done with it, we've mixed, my best calculation would be 7,300 loads with this thing. Hasn't let us down, like it'll keep mixing. We've had issues, I know I've shown it, um, the issues that we've had. This, the scale didn't work when feeding. Ironically enough, we're actually having scale issues again with this mixer. Um, I won't save a recipe and let us use it. It just started today. Yeah, that's fine. Still feeds cows as it should. Uh, it's been, there's been repairs. The biggest thing is that bottom wheel there. The bearings aren't sealed, so they'll get dirt in there. It's not perfect. We spent that's actually been the most expensive piece of it, along with the tires. But um, it's a like a lot of weight we put on them tires. I've had most weight I've had in here is a thousand kilograms, which just heaps this mixer. Uh, the feed was very wet. The average load size, I'd say, is. Right now we're mixing 620 kilogram loads consistently. Sometimes I mix 800, 750. Really depends on that feed's moisture. So, as you can see, I have some messy handwriting. I can understand it. So, yeah, I'll explain it. We switched all our tires to foam, I should mention that. Tires most frequent thing replaced on this mixer uh, just shred the tires off it they go flat a lot of weight them tires are supposed to hold 90 psi of air so sinks hard on tires so as for loads mixed 365 days a year this thing runs i've had it for four years mixing on average five loads a day sometimes we mix less than five loads a day but sometimes we mix six so I'm gonna go with five as an average just for that actually you can see over here what I did to calculate loads that column right there at the bottom of the screen my calculations I did this during feeding but I was having trouble for the scale so don't you know my math might have gone wrong somewhere and I'll throw the calculations off a bit but we'll deal with that for loads, I added the 365 times 4 times 4 loads a day, which would be 5,840 loads, and the 7,300 loads together and divided by 2. So my math for kilograms mixed will be based off 6,570 loads. So if we mix 6,570 loads, and the average weight, I was being generous, I said 600 kilograms. The reason I said that is when I mix a dry cow load of feed, 
I'm mixing a 400 kilogram load. When I'm mixing feed for inside the dairy barn, which I mix like five loads of that for every dry cow load, I'm mixing five 640 load kilogram loads, sometimes more heavier loads. So, um, based off that number, 6,570 loads times 600 kilograms gives us 4,345 tons. That's how much feed's gone through this little mixer in the past four years. So has for hours, I know I've mentioned it. We've put 2,356.6 hours on this mixer. So, if you want to figure out how many ton an hour I'm mixing with this, you got to divide out. I'll show you the paper. I'm not sure if you can read it, but I'll give you something else to look at. So, with 4,345 tons of feed mix, divide that by the hours, 2,356. You get a grand total of, we're mixing 1.84 tons of feed an hour. Now, the big guys with their big mixers obviously can mix a lot more. This mixer, perfectly suited for us. I would not trade it for a trail behind mixer at the stage or dairy farms at. This, it, the guys that do it, if it works for them, great. As for me, I love this Rizzler. It's dependable. It's never let us down. It's more reliable than any track do we own. Just cruises right along. But, I have to say to that, I figured out how much gas we've gone through on this thing. Um, I have the numbers memorized, but I don't want to really want to get it wrong. So, with the 2,350 hours, I just round it, but I didn't round it for the math. We're getting 16 hours of tank on this mixer. So, 16 hours of tank, that's 147 tanks of fuel I filled up. This tank is 20 liters, that's what Rizzler says it is. So that's where I got my liters number. That leaves us with 2,940 liters. That's how much fuel this thing's burnt in four years. I um, guess I could have been a little smart and told you how many liters per hour we're burning. Those numbers are pretty close. I'm gonna go with probably burning one and a bit liters of gas per hour. Um, I guess I could have got you a liters burn per ton, but once again, it's going to be pretty close to that one-to-one -one ratio. Um, going to mix more tons than liters burned. But I figured what you'd be more interested in was average price of gas. I googled it. I didn't make this number up. Um, for Ontario, over the past four years, it's been $1.43. That's where I got that number from. So, 2,940 liters times 1.43 liters is $4,204.20 of gas we've burnt through this mixer. So, it's a lot of gas, but the number I found even more mind-blowing is we don't hire anyone to mix feed. Dad and I, and even Mom the odd time, Mom generally milks cows, we'll either Dad and I feed just what she's good at. So, and Dad and I arguably like mix and feed more than the yeah, other dogs. So either dad and I always mix his feed. We've never really actually hired anyone to quote unquote feed cows or run this mixer. But in the past year put more hours than ever on this mixer, 749. The minimum wage right now, I believe the student minimum wage is 1460. Don't quote me on it, I, just what I think it is. I didn't Google that number. 749 hours of mixing time times 1460 would cost you $10,935 to hire someone before fuel to run this mixer for one year. A more mind boggling number was to pay for someone to run this mixer for its entire life. Let's just say I hired someone to run this mixer Say I just told him I want you to feed cows every day, 365 days a year for four years straight. And I told him for every hour this machine runs, I'll pay him or her 
fourteen sixty an hour. Would have had to pay them thirty four thousand three hundred and ninety seven dollars and sixty cents. So I don't know what we bought this mixer for, but what I do know is that there is, I believe, once again, don't quote me, it's been a long time. The same guys that we bought this mixer from have a V, I believe it's a thousand or it's, anyway, it's the 100 cubic foot version of this. It's listed for $40,000. If you were to add the gas cost and the small repairs we've done over the years, you know, well, even if you just added gas or labor to hire someone, you'd be pretty close to that bigger mixer. So, yeah, that's what I got for you. I better leave this bat seat on the mixer. I wrote on the one back of one of my bat seats. So, yeah, I figured I'd show you guys that while I did barn check. This, it's crazy once you start thinking about it. There's a whole lot more to equipment than just buying it. I thought you'd be interested to see the Rizzler. It's got a few things we got to fix on it. The chain's underneath now after 2,500 hours round to that. They've worn, so we got to change those out. We'll have to do them wheel bearings again. I really wish Rizzler sold sealed wheel bearings, but they do not. So, setting off lights for the night in the dairy barn. If they did, I'd be on board. I would buy those instantly. So, yeah. Um, that's that. Mom and Dad are probably wondering where I am because I've been filming for 12 minutes straight about this Rizzler. But that's all I got to say. We could put new knives on the inside too, but we don't use our knives for top and we just put them in for a better mix. So we'll have some more parts to put on the Rizzler, but yeah, I found we did a machine costing assignment back at Conestoga for my program. And it was just nuts. The amount of labor you pay someone almost equals the amount of the machine over like the lifetime. Our last Rizzler mixer was a V960 and that mixer costed us or not costed us. We put three and a half thousand hours on it. So I figure, you know, imagine paying someone fourteen sixty an hour for that. It would have costed you more in labor to run it than to initially buy the machine. Obviously as farmers we view our time maybe as more free time, if you will. We're working for ourselves. But I always find that interesting the costs that go into a machine but that's our mixer if all our farm equipment was as reliable as that Rizzler be golden I'd be happy it's never let us down fully have small issues but what doesn't have small issues you know don't think anything you buy in this world you can buy J. Lore Pats fill in the blank N.D. Cole Meyer any feed wagon you buy or TMR mixer it's gonna break nothing's gonna be perfect so that's our Rizzler once again, I'll put the photos of what it looked like brand new on the screen and maybe a few more just throughout the years on it. But thanks for watching. I'm going to go home for the night. It's 9 o'clock now. God bless.